How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you a gameplay commentary, and finally, the Master Chief Collection has an infection playlist for us to play. But is it really up to snuff? Does it really give you the full experience that we've come to know and love when it comes to playing infection in zombie game modes, things like that when it comes to Halo? This has always been an interesting addition to Halo. It came around since the community created these game modes back in Halo back in the Halo 2 days when I used to play like infection on the map like Foundation and things like that where you had to build up your own kind of fortresses, you kind of nudging things up against a wall to kind of stop the uh, the uh, zombies with the swords coming in again. And yet, then you would have to use the honor system to switch over to the other team. It was a it was a good old classic time. So now we actually have a chance to have a playlist dedicated to infection on the Master Chief Collection. And from from it was a really really well requested uh, playlist as well. And I finally got a chance to play it. I played it for about, I think about two hours, I think, something like that. And uh, this was the best game that I had, so I figured I'd just show you this game. Because a lot of other times, they were just kind of like, you know, you, a lot of people haven't really played these zombie game modes. And so then you're everybody just kind of running around going like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing kind of thing. Uh, but there's only like a handful, or there's, there's a few game, different game types. Uh, you'll mainly be coming across Hive Mind. That's the game mode that I came across most often. Uh, I've also came, I also played Brains, played Creeping Death once, uh, and I think I also played Flood, or no, Last Stand, we played Last Stand one time as well, which so Last Stand is basically the same thing as Hive Mind, but you get to see where all the enemy players are when you're the uh, playing as the Flood. So it's kind of like, okay. But uh, you'll want to get Hive Mind down though, for sure, if you want to actually uh, be decent at the Infection playlist. Uh, cause the way that, cause what I always think about zombies when it comes to Halo is that, you know, your players have, you know, your typical health, uh, typical jumping abilities, or just your average Spartan abilities. And then you have the zombies, which in my mind generally have, you know, very low health, extra f fast speed, high jumping abilities, running around with a sword. And they kind of did something similar to that with Hive Mind, but not as ridiculous, I guess you would say. Or it's such a strong contrast between being a uh, human player and being a zombie player. In Hive Mind, when you're playing, um, when you're playing as a uh, as a human, you're uh, you're like an average Spartan, which kind of was normal to me then when it comes to playing Infection. But then when you're playing as the Flood Zombie, whatever you want to call it, um, it's rather disappointing and kind of hard really to play as a uh, zombie because I'm used to having just you know, run out there and just fly across the map and kill whatever you can see. Where in Hive Mind, what you have to do is really be a lot more tactical when you're playing as the uh, the Flood. Because, yeah, you have like your little prongy thing that kind of represents like a sword, but it takes two hits to kill players. And, you know, you're yeah, you are a little bit faster. You probably think you're running about 100... feels like about 120% run speed, something like that. Or maybe 110. So you're not horribly fast where it's like kind of hard to follow you, but then... Uh, but the, th the thing is that you, that you have less health as well, so you have to be really tactical with your movements and, ch and very sneaky when it comes to making the, your uh, right you're making your right attack moves because it's going to take you two uh, swings with your little prongy hand sword thing to take out players. So you want to really make sure that uh, you have a guy you know who's unaware of your location. I say for a general tip, what you'd want to do is peek out. Uh, pick out the weakest member on the enemy team to slice them so you can at least get one kill out of your attack because majority of the time if you go head to head on a guy you're going to die but uh, that's mainly what my experience on infection for Halo have been it's been you end up playing Halo 4 most of the time and it's going to be hive mind um, I've also kind of found out actually this also was very consistent with uh, previous infection playlist that it's generally a a younger audience that's playing that plays infection so that's why I would think you become across playing the Halo 4 playlist more often uh, but just to let you know that there's also some Halo 3 there's brains uh, there's creeping death there's save one bullets hide and seek and speed demons when it comes to Halo 3 uh, with Halo 2 anniversary there is um, some infection playlist game modes as well but I actually didn't get a chance to get it, to play those in like my two hours of gameplay because everyone just mainly votes for Hive Mind, but there's like a standard infection and then uh, Cadre, 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 Cadre. I think that's how you pronounce it. C A D R E. 
And then for Halo 4, you have Flood, Hive Mind, and Last Stand. Uh, I didn't get a chance to play Flood either, my chance to play, just because, uh, like I said, Hive Mind dominates the infection playlist right now, at least from my experience. Uh, also, tip when you're playing Hive Mind, grab a shotgun. Oh my god, the shotgun works so well in Hive Mind. It works really well, like right there, boom. I was able to take that, weaken them up with the assault rifle, and then take out the shotgun and hit him at like kind of like a mid close range kind of thing. So I definitely want every time oh, that guy just lagged in front of me. That was like freaky. <laughs> Remember when I was playing, I was like, oh geez, that was uh, that was a little intense. <laughs> here's me playing as the flood as well. You can see I'm crouch walking most of the time here because you gotta be very tactical when you move. So this guy's just trying to jump into a corner for some reason. So I was able to grab him from behind because I am the sticky icky flood. And uh, it's kind of cool how you get like this nice little like overlay on your screen. You have like a little hand prongy thing that can uh, stab people. But uh, I really do feel like it should be a one-hit kill to kind of fall in line with the traditional zombies that I've known and loved since playing uh, Halo 2. But what do I know? But uh, yeah, that's about the end of the gameplay, guys. I do finish in first place in this game. Uh, if you want to see more infection or anything else, you know, please leave a comment down below. Uh, check out the videos. I have it linked at the end of the description right at the end of the uh, video at the, for annotations I got some more videos for you, you want to check those out as well. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching Test out some infection. See how it goes for you and catch you later. Peace out